All right, we're getting the shop opened up today. Uh, give you a recap. We got a couple of uh, screen print jobs we're going to do today. We're out here at the old press, so we'll uh, we'll get everything lined up and ready to go. Thought we would do some highlights from the store. Hmm. I have obviously not been paying attention. All right, so let's go home. So let's see who's in the store right now. I guess, uh, oh, yeah, you didn't capture that on video, but, uh, if a tree falls in the woods and you're not there to hear it, does it really make any sound? Well, that one just fell and it fell out toward the driveway. And it made some sound. I don't know if you heard that. So we just had a little bit of wind and a a rotted tree just fell. It's in the wood line. I don't know if you can see it, but man, that's a big tree. I didn't know it was dead. I guess eventually, you know, not every tree makes it. Look at there. Right now, there's somebody in our store. This is a, it's been a while since we had a visitor in our store. We got some uh, traffic coming through, so if somebody's coming up, we're going to look at that. And let's see. Hmm. It's a visitor right now. We have orders to fulfill. Man, this is the coolest app. We hadn't been paying attention much today. Okay, the person just left our store. But today, we've had eight orders and 51 people in our store. What a... Huh. A little bird just flew up. Okay, anyway. And then yesterday, we didn't have any sales and we had five people in our store. So, quite a good day. 51 people in the store today with eight orders so we're gonna have to get busy boy that is nice sure did today okay okay a couple of those a couple of those dr. Seuss we had a couple of the Dr. Seuss uh, shirts. A lot going on out here today. Okay, let's get busy. We're going to get busy. We're going to roll through this today. we got things to do. Let's get these pallets cleaned off. I notice I do a little puffing type breathing on the on the videos. I think this piece of paper is big enough. Okay. Get clean right here for a minute. We've got our <clears throat> we've got our flash dryer on already. Got a lot of pollen on the on the pallets today. We got our flash dryer on today. <laughs> That's good. pollen on our pallets.
Oh, good day in the shop. There are eight shirts. So the goal every day is 10 shirts. So we got about 110 in the queue still. And now that adds eight more. Now let's see. No, we're down to 101. Down to 101. Adds eight more, puts us back up to 100. <clears throat> now that one big order is 90 shirts. We don't have the we have the shirts in, but we don't have the design for it. So we're going to push through 90 of those shirts pretty quick. Today we got a 10 or 11. We got a screen print. All right. I told you we would update on search engine optimization. I didn't get one of those done today or yesterday. So the idea is you complete one every day. We did get our video uploaded yesterday. Uh, the idea is you'd upload one video every day. You would upload, uh, you would get one search engine op optimization completed for one product each day. Uh, you'd print your 10 shirts each day. You'd give it a nice uh, store update every day. Uh, So yeah, that's where we are. So we're getting all those things done. We are, I think, figuring out the videos. I mean, sure, you just upload a you video one hour of the store, 45 minutes, one hour of the store, upload it to YouTube. No editing. No thumbnails, quick description, and uh, start ranking. I will say that uh, if you just search for Red Oak Trading Company, uh, the YouTube videos have uh, increased our, they've increased our standings in the search engine optimization for Red Oak Trading Company. And uh, we do rank higher than so we used to not uh, not rank that high. Now, what we really, the end goal, is to see to see our our products start getting more traffic from those. Uh, Search we're gonna what our end goal is is that we would drive more sales. Now that has not happened. We did have the, the random guy from California to find our 32 Roadster shirt that our model model T and uh, place an order. We got that out to him pretty quick. I was pretty excited about that. So that's our goal. Our goal is to find all those people out there that need a good t-shirt. That can build our, build our customer base a little bit. We're not looking for a lot. But we're looking for more than our our weekend, <coughs> our Facebook group that can provide. So we're not looking for, you know, the group. I mean, you know, what if you grow this business into a major apparel business? Is that a bad thing? I'm thinking once you start, when you're starting out, you just kind of doing the best you can with what you got and then as you get bigger you can take on you can be more like a uh, storefront for a lot of people like me I think that's kind of how Ryan Ryanet got started they were just 
printing shirts in their kitchen. And then they started, uh, you know, getting somebody to make their presses, getting chemical suppliers to provide them with screen printing chemicals. And they started distributing the all the materials you needed to so anyway you got to start somewhere so red oak trading company i'm having trouble with this side i got to pay attention more Yeah, we, <clears throat> I'm almost to the point where that paper's slowing me down, you know. When I'm saying it's slowing me down, it's costing me precious minutes. Because it's this edge just wanting to peel off, which is not good when you're trying to coat as long as it stays outside of your print area it's not a big deal but as soon as it gets in the print area I know you can't see it from over there but it's wanting to tear along this one edge so we really can't afford for that to be causing a a delay in productivity <clears throat> I was kind of excited last night when we talked about uh, increasing our exposure station because it took me a couple hours to develop those three screens and now with the uh, I think what I want to do I keep doing the sides first and then the edges but I want to do the anyway We're gonna build three exposure units. Yeah, we got pollen out here today. It's February. Is this global warming or what? <coughs> got some global warming going on. 27 Let's say that right 43 we got to get this lined up it doesn't seem to be two forty three yeah, see, I'm breathing again. I don't know what's going on. Okay, this one's a little bit skewed sideways. I know we... Let's see here. Yeah, we were going the wrong way. No, it's pretty easy to go the wrong way with this thing. We're going to kind of keep moving today. I know normally I talk a lot. Okay. Let's 
So you measure twice. It's normal. And you print once. thought I got all my supplies, but obviously I did not. It can take you a while to print one shirt. Got a lot of bird activity up here today. Nice. Chimps, so uh, our security dog, he's old and he's suffering from cancer. And they've not given him a very much more time. But today He's laying out there in the grass where he normally is. I gave him his pain meds. What pain meds do you give dogs when they have cancer? Do you give them some, I mean, morphine or some opioids? I mean, what are you giving a dog? I'm not sure. Is it the same people? I don't know much about that, but poor guy. He's, he is 14 or 15 years old now. <clears throat> and, uh, He's had a real good life here on the farm. Really good life. So we're just going to say that uh, his life was really full. I guess in dog years, if you live to be 14, I think he's 14 and some change. Think about that. You live 14 and some change. So seven times four is 28. And seven times 10 is 70. So he's 98 years old and some change. He's probably already... So 100 years old for a lab. That's pretty good age on him. And he's still out here working with me on the farm. So that's kind of my goal in life. Uh, I would like to stay busy. I'm not going to say I'm going to make it 100 years. But as long as I'm alive, I'd like to be busy on the farm. I think screen printing is one of those hobbies or businesses. We'll say it's a hobby that you can do into your older age. Really, you know, we can complete, we can, we can work on this until we're a little older, you know. I don't see any problem with uh, printing shirts when you're a little bit older. <laughs> so, 100 years old printing t shirts? Now, I have said a couple times that I would rather get into shirts that are more, uh, all right, we're going to put this, I 
Hmm. I'm gonna check them. Just wondering if these youth shirts are gonna fit on this platen. They should. It's not like toddler size shirts. This is the small. Yeah, what we're going to do is stretch it on here. Hmm. Yeah, a little small shirt here. All right, we're going to see that this print works for this little guy all right so we're not going to push it too far out to the we would normally push it to okay all right so we're going to base our print off of this little first little youth size shirt normally if you're going to have a order big enough the chest print is what i'm talking about the back print will fit on the shirt yeah the back print's not going to be a problem the front print you would normally put the center of the print at uh, at about four inches. But since we're going to do this whole family together, and we've got to do this, uh, we're going to shoot the center at three and a half and three and a half. Okay. So we're going to pull this youth model down a little tight, but the others we won't pull this tight so so we'll have to get this is a youth extra small that's a you would normally have two different uh screens if you were doing a a larger order but in this case there's two youth shirts i mean we're not going to make new screens just for two youth shirts they're going to have to fit so we're going to split the difference on the adults and kind of make them So they'll be reasonable. 92. Okay. I always like to check to see if we're square. If you're not square, it can be a problem on your prints. Twenty-four, yeah. So this is a front and back one color, and then another front on another another shirt. And reasonably, you know, we're I started the video when we started the setup, and we're uh. I mean, we're going to be doing pretty good. I don't see any reason why we're not printing in 30 minutes. I can't believe that tree fell out there. All right. Yeah, we're how long into this video? 25, 26 minutes. We're doing good. Okay, let's pull this out of here. Need a squeegee. I don't know what I do with my squeegees. You'd think I would hold on to them just for a minute.
around breathing hard again. I guess that's just a habit. Breathing hard. We're going to borrow a piece of squeegee from this. Squeegee. Just happen to have one right there. happen to have a squeegee available right there on that box. Moving along a little quicker today. <clears throat> yeah. I'm pretty sure we can get her each day. If we were moving along, we could get her 10. I think we could get 20 shirts a night if we were, if we had the orders, number one. Our shirts were available, and uh, so our goal is to drive that traffic. Our goal is to drive that traffic. We're going to have to. Uh, drive that traffic. We could get individual orders from businesses in the area, and we do some, but we really don't pursue that business. There's a couple of shops in town that do a good job on that. Our, uh, our goal is to, to be exclusively e-commerce single order have shirts in our in our inventory that not inventory we would be able to print on demand but we could print one at a time what we what what I'd really like to do is move from uh, I know there's not a lot of big businesses out there but move from screen printing to direct the garment but I don't know if the cost point is higher on direct the garment so but I feel like we can make that work if you keep the printer running keep the printer running Misplaced a shirt. Can't misplace a shirt. Oh, here it is. I think I want to do this. Go ahead and get this one red one out of the way first. I don't know how we ended up getting an order for one red, one screen print shirt. That's what we're going to do.
Hmm. The red ink is so much thinner than the white. And it prints so nice. It's Mars Red Water-Based Paint. We're not going to put a lot on here. I'm going to try to put just enough to make this print. Boy, that is this barely enough to make the print. Of course, if we need more, we are going to add more. You know what? Hmm. This concrete's wet out here. My print press is off the ground far enough, but this is a long sleeve shirt. So what I don't want to do is drag this very nice pink shirt through the, um, the mud and on the wet concrete and get mud all over the sleeve. I'm gonna move these ride toys up a little bit. Grandbaby's got some ride toys up here. Let's move them over a little. Make us some room. I want to drag a nice shirt across the a wet, dusty ride toy. Oh yeah, we're happy with that. We're not going to do anything else. It's kind of risky running a uh, a print like that on just a one off. One shirt, one off is done. Mark it off. Well, set up and order finished in about 30 minutes. Hmm. It's pretty good. That's why we wanted to start with this one. Jordan Peterson says you set your goal targets low so that you'd be successful every day. Or at least you accomplish something. I don't know if you're going to get some of the other motivational speakers to agree with him, but set your goal target low enough where you can be successful. I can understand that. It is... Uh, very possible. Set your goal target low enough so that you can be successful finishing something today. There you go. <clears throat> we wanted to get that one shirt done. That's not really true. We want to get that shirt done and this other order too. We have two orders today. They're two small orders. So. finish washing that out later the good thing about water-based paint on a rainy day um, that's gonna not dry up I think on this next order That was pretty risky just running that shirt blind. I think what we're going to do is 
we should get a shirt that we're going to throw away. Hmm. Can't take too long. All right, give me this shirt. We're not going to use this shirt for anything. It's been in here a while. Good looking shirt though. We'll use this as our test shirt. Okay, let's see how this is going to look. We're going to be using our new push-pull squeegee here. Might take me a minute to get the feel for it. One thing that might have been a problem with our other with our other squeegees, it was had some age on it. And after watching Ryanette on those uh, videos. It's possible that we were just, uh, yeah, that's going to be fine. That washed out good. It's possible that we were just, uh, our edge, our sharpness on our, uh, yeah, I think that's good right there. On our press, I like it. I like it. Let's start loading shirts. Might as well start with these little ones. There's a couple in the use size to get done. Yeah, I like it. That printed pretty good. Yeah, that might have been the problem. Is the uh let's see. The problem might have been that we our edges on our squeegee wasn't sharp. Now I like the ergo handle grip on this easy glide. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Put a couple of 
couple of coats on this. We're gonna, I don't know if you can see the shirts, but anyway, we're doing good. We don't have that many to print. I think that's a good print. Yeah. Uh, I'll be honest with you. I'm going to get a little bit warm printing these shirts. We're going to have to I'm gonna take this outer shirt off. Shirt rack out here. A couple of Jeeps out of the way. Okay. It's nice. We'll see how it goes through the afternoon. All right. So we're going to not keep you all day. We're at about 45 minutes. We got our first pink long sleeve. Uh, it's a nice print. We'll come back and cure that and fold it and put it in our package. And uh, we're going to let that go for today on you because I'm going to keep these videos around 45 minutes. We've used up our time today. We like the new easy grip squeegee. It's right here. We'll ro report out on it a little more. It's the easy grip squeezy squeegee. And this is the one from Ryonet. Now we'll see you tomorrow night.